The two Koreas have settled on the date, location, and scale of their planned set of family reunions after marathon talks. It's been too long since the last reunion for war separated families, almost two years. Hwang Sung Hee starts us off. The two Koreas agreed Tuesday to hold their planned set of reunions for war separated families from October 20th to 26th at North Korea's Mount Kumgang Resort. The event will be held in two rounds, allowing 100 family members from each side to see their loved ones again. This includes South Korean war prisoners and abductees captured by the North. Following marathon negotiations that lasted for nearly 24 hours, South Korea's chief delegate said the two sides had primarily haggled over the timing of the event. South Korea suggested holding the event as soon as possible, in time for Chuseok. But North Korea explained that pushing the reunions back was inevitable, as it needs more time to prepare, considering the Chuseok holiday and its national event. That national event is the 70th anniversary of the founding of North Korea's ruling Workers' Party on October 10th. There is speculation that the North may be preparing to launch a long-range rocket to mark the occasion, which could jeopardize the family reunions. Millions of families were separated during the Korean War in the 1950s. Nearly half of the 130,000 registered divided family members in the South have already passed away. During the negotiations, Seoul also made separate proposals, such as to hold the reunions on a regular basis and exchange lists of surviving separated family members from both sides. But the Koreas agree to discuss these fundamental issues in the near future. Tuesday's outcome may seem like nothing out of the ordinary, but some experts note its significance as it's the first joint effort by the two Koreas to adhere to one of their key agreements reached at the landmark inter-Korean talks last month. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.